Well, only on 13, we're getting a look at the moment an accused thief takes off with a couple's truck. Their neighbor, who was trying to stop the man, pulled out his cell phone and began recording. You can see the man get into the driver's seat, taking out anything that was standing in the way of his escape. Tonight, Shane Jennings is facing several charges. ABC 13's Maya Shea spoke with the neighbor, and she joins us live right now. And Maya, this guy is accused of more than just stealing a truck, right? Yeah, he's got a half a dozen charges, including aggravated assault of an elderly person because the people who he allegedly broke into the home right there belong to folks in their 80s. You can see just how much damage he caused to uh, three backyards as he tried to make his getaway. This house is still torn apart and the car is damaged. But I'll tell you what, this neighborhood is really grateful for this pastor who just moved in recently as he rushed to help. Hey, what do you think you're doing, man? I'm not doing anything. You're beating that man up? No. Yeah. Hey, put it down. Put it down. You're watching Pastor down. Heath Haynes as he's trying to corner Shane Jennings, a man who's accused of attacking an 85-year-old man before then trying to steal his truck. I can't even breathe. Well, how do you think he feels, man? Stop. I'm not going to stop. Haynes, who just temporarily moved next door, jumped into action when he heard his neighbor Sharon Cohn yell for help last Thursday. Jennings had barged into her home and was about to attack her husband Earl. And I started to close the door and that's when he pushed his way inside and shoved my husband to the floor. And then he stole your car? Yes. Looking in the window, banging on the door, I can see, you know, Earl, the, the guy who lives there, you know, now that I know, on the ground, coat rack over his chest, you know, just eyes wide, and there's a man with his back to me, rifling through his pocket. I'm banging on the door. Hey, did you see that? Minutes later, Jennings managed to jump into Cone's truck. You're not going anywhere. Pastor Haynes thought he was blocked in. <laughs> but the suspect simply plowed through a fence across two yards. It managed to drive out a neighbor's backyard and then away. Fortunately, he was arrested several hours later and is now facing half a dozen charges. Earl Cohn is recovering and the couple is very grateful for their new neighbor. He's a hero? Yes. Yeah, definitely. good guy, huh? Yes. The neighbors say they felt like you saved their lives. Mm. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I, it's in, I, I did what needed to be done. Yeah, pretty amazing stuff. We should note that Jennings is also facing uh, some charges relating to the chase that ended all of this. He apparently hit at least two law enforcement vehicles. So he's in jail. He's set to make his initial court appearance tomorrow. Uh, all of this still needs repairing. And we should note Pastor Haynes, well, he temporarily moved into his in-law's house because his family's getting some remodeling done in their home. But I'll tell you what the neighbors here say, that family, they can just stay put. They don't ever have to leave. They're glad to have them in the neighborhood.